Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over reciprocals of fractions. Should be nice and quick, so let's get right into it. So let's say we've got a fraction. For example, the fraction 4 over 5. How do we find the reciprocal of this fraction? Well, to find the reciprocal, all you have to do is flip it around. So you just swap the numerator and denominator. So you take the numerator of the old fraction and put it in the denominator of the new fraction. Then take the denominator of the old fraction and put it in the numerator of the new fraction. This new fraction that we just created is the reciprocal. The primary importance of the reciprocal is that if you multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, you get 1. So 4 over 5 times its reciprocal, 5 over 4, is equal to 1. You can see that this is true because if we multiply these fractions, first we have to multiply across the numerators, giving us 20 in the numerator, and then multiply across the denominators, that's 5 times 4, giving us 20 in the denominator. So it's just 20 over 20, which is equal to 1. For another example, what if we had 3 over 2? What's the reciprocal of this fraction? Well, just swap the numerator and denominator, so it's going to be 2 over 3. Again, if we multiply these fractions, we get 6 over 6, which is just equal to 1. So the reciprocal of a fraction is just the number you have to multiply the fraction by to get 1. And you can find that number by flipping the fraction around, swapping the numerator and denominator. Now here's something important to point out. Let's say we have a fraction with 0 in the numerator, like 0 over 4. What do we have to multiply this fraction by in order to get 1? Well, there's nothing we can multiply it by to get 1, because this fraction is just equal to 0, and you can't multiply 0 by anything to get 1. So if we tried to flip this fraction around to get the reciprocal, we'd have 4 over 0. And this is an undefined expression. We can't have 0 in the denominator of a fraction. So just remember that. The reciprocal of a fraction can be found by flipping around the numerator and denominator, but if the numerator of a fraction is zero, then that fraction does not have a reciprocal. One last thing about reciprocals. Let's say we're doing some fraction division. Let's say we have four-fifths divided by six over two. Dividing four over five by six over two is the same as multiplying four over five by the reciprocal of six over two. So this would be equal to 4 over 5 multiplied by the reciprocal of 6 over 2, which is just 2 over 6. Then this is going to be equal to 8 over 30, which is equal to 4 over 15. One more example, let's say we have negative 2 over 3 divided by 7 over 2. Dividing negative 2 thirds by 7 halves is the same as multiplying negative 2 thirds by the reciprocal of 7 halves. So this is equal to negative 2 over 3 multiplied by the reciprocal of 7 over 2, which is 2 over 7. And then this is equal to negative 4 over 21. So that's what reciprocals are and why they're important. I hope this video helped you understand how to find a reciprocal and why you would want to find one in the first place. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video your requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.